Hello everyone, welcome back to be here back with another episode of Mega Man X. And last time we took out Flame Mammoth and Spark Mandrill and Armored Armadillo and we got the respective upgrades in that level. We got the sub tank, heart tanks, uh, and uh, arm bu buster upgrade. So now we're ready to go tackle the launch octopus, which we got his weakness from Armadillo here, so let's continue. Gaming Dan Activities. I'm gonna make you fish and dinner. See if you. Uh, no thanks. According to Goku, I told you such a thing. And not just Goku. A lot of sources have told me so. I hate you. So, yes, I'm not using my uh, tornado on these guys because I have a very uh, annoying sub boss fight coming up. With two, well, there's technically four, but two of them are two, uh, each one are all the same, so it's two, two of them, and then there's two more, but uh, one's like a giant, like, fish, and then the other two are like some, like, snake monster. Alright, so I'm gonna show off what the rolling shield looks like. And here's a good place to like to farm like sub uh, weapon energy and health energy pellets so you can uh, fill out your sub tanks. And this is what I like to do before I tackle Sigma. Instead of farming for that at his final stage, because instead of one caterpillar, you got four seahorses here. And I did terrible by uh, getting hit as much as I did. Come on, guys. Ah. Bah! How dare you! There we go. Alright, so bring out your tornado. Your tornadus. And spam the tornadus. Uh, spam the tornadus. Ugh, damn snake things. Reminds me of those stupid things when you, uh, in SWAT Cats. Uh, there's a part, there's a couple parts in SWAT Cats where you, like, go inside this monster or whatever, and you gotta, like, destroy this giant, like, thing that consists of eyeballs, and he shoots out these weird, like, Serpent-like things that are really annoying. I'll actually be doing a Let's Play on SWAT Cats because that game, that show was fucking my favorite as a kid. For anyone who knows SWAT Cats, bonus points right there. So apparently there's oxygen in there. Like Mega Man doesn't need to breathe, but apparently there's enough oxygen or what or no water inside these fish because you can use fire. I don't know if it's because like I know I don't know it's be, if it's because like. You are hitting them right at the edge with the fire that does damage to them, or if there's actually enough oxygen in their body to the point where you can actually use it, because as you can see, fire doesn't work underwater. I mean, that's a given. So we have a death pit. This thing is annoying. You want to be really careful because he can suck and blow, and you don't need you don't want to get you don't want to get off by getting sucked and blown on. Off, I'm gonna be getting killed. Sorry if I made it sound sexual. Now up here is a health pellet. Don't need it. Okay, and uh, skip the second one. The second one doesn't give you anything. Bring out your tornado. Like I said, skip it. I'm trying to get out of it, but there's spikes. Alright. I could have probably just jumped right out of it and landed. Alright, so you're gonna wanna wait for this third uh, turbine or tornado thing to come up and just spin and hit it once, and he's dead. Now, ride this elevator down, and you can see he's breaking the floor. We're gonna be coming down to a secret area where we gotta battle first. This guy is actually 
not mandatory because the second one is to progress. Bring out your tornado, and uh, you'll battle like a, a serpent, like a uh, sub boss. And uh, two shots, he's dead. I actually could not get out of his way. Probably could have if I jumped forward or whatever, but whatever, I'm fine with the damage. And we got our next heart container. So now we just scale the wall and continue as scheduled. Again, nothing. So here we have the next one. This one is mandatory because you need to be to progress. There it is. You can actually ride on his back. going out on me. Dead. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna bust out uh, fire, just in case, because uh, there's a bunch of fish right here. Hey, hey, hey. No, no, no. Bust out your, uh, your rolling shield. And prepare for a pretty annoying fight. He's actually one of the toughest enemies, only because he will hit you a lot. Unless you've got freaking reflexes like a crack monkey. You're going down, bitch. No, you're going down, bitch. Okay, he will... If he gets you with that, he'll actually drain your health and replenish his own. Nope. And that's the upgrade, uh, powered up version, or whatever, of the missiles that he's shooting. He's also invulnerable when he uh, does that. Oh, you little bitch. Be careful, use your shots wisely, you can run out. Death. Actually, not bad, but poor. Like I said, he hits me for a lot regardless. I'm not good at dodging all his missiles. And I gotta conserve energy in order for me to be able to actually have a decent chance of beating him. I'm gonna show this off for each episode. I got Hormy. Torpedo. Hormy. Did it literally just say that? Or am I just going blind and I combined it the words homing and horny? Password. So, he actually beats him. Let's do this. Bring it, you stag beetle. Boomer Kowanger. He's a boomer. Watch out, don't let him puke on you. As I like to call him, Boomer Koopanger. This music, though. So you're... This, this uh, vertical um, area here is kind of annoying. What I like to do on this guy is just spam this. Don't really got to, but it's just what I like to do. So you got these annoying bastards. Alright. So, the next best thing... That guy actually won't hit you. Hey! Hey. Well, that didn't go as planned. I was actually gonna jump, get him to shoot his thing, and uh, go down the ladder and shoot him, but uh, I fucked up. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, for this, you want to use rolling shield for this part, unless you're crazy good at dodging anything, but this makes this part put. Okay. I accidentally, ow. I accidentally hit the, the guy with uh, my rolling shield, my mistake. 
next time. I didn't realize I was going to hit him with that, but... Destroy all the turtleoids. Okay, here comes this part. It's a giant elevator shaft with uh, spike pits, and you're going to have flying enemies. Come on. Don't laugh at me. Normally you can uh, rolling shield this, but I normally never, never do. I don't know why, I just don't like to. As you can see, my mistakes by getting hit. Alright, so I'm gonna rolling shield this, because this part is kind of annoying with, uh, just normally. There's, there's risk of me just taking a bunch of useless damage, this is whatever. This way I can rush it. Cause then I gotta shoot those weird, like, stupid things off the ladder. I'd rather not. I mean, look how fast that is. Alright, so we're at the end. Now, normally you would be only only... Normally you would only be able to get that with Boomerang Coiner's weapon. But, you can actually get it this way. Oh, I would have had it if I didn't... I would have had it if I jumped at the right time. That glitched. What the heck? Uh, I'm not jumping at the right time, am I? Thought I had it at the right time. There we go, third try. I had the right idea, I was just jumping, I think, a split second too soon. Now, what you want to do for this part, again, Rolling Shield is your best friend in this level. Pretty much your best friend in the last few areas. Reason being is... Aww, I thought it destroys those guys. Guess not. Okay, guess not. So it's not your best friend here. My mistake, don't listen to me. But your best friend, indeed, is your tornado. Always will be. So I made a mistake by uh, using the rolling shield because I thought it would destroy everyone, but it doesn't. Alright, so you got missiles. Missiles are your best friend against this guy. So my mistake on that part, I thought Rolling Shield destroyed them, but it doesn't. I could have sworn it did, but I was proven wrong. I don't play this game religiously, though. I do love Mega Man series, but I'm not so crazy about it. What I mean by that is I'm just not... I don't play it all the time, and I've only beaten uh, X1 through 4. Oh, you got... You had to get those single two hits on me. Whoa! Yeah, did you see what he was trying to do to me? Is He was going to throw me to the ceiling. I normally I would actually take no damage on me. This guy's stage. Get an item. So there's a sub tank here that we couldn't that we couldn't get before. <laughs> Go down this ladder here. Destroy the big blue guy. Because I'm the only blue bomber around here. And there's this thing. There we go. Voila, we got all four. 
Password. And onward to Sting Chameleon, which he is weak to this guy's weapon, the weapon I just used. Alright, so we're gonna get the last uh, upgrade here, which is the armor upgrade, as well as a heart tank. Heart tank. Hey, bitch. That's for all the time you've hit me, you asshole. Hey. I'm making a lot of mistakes. But yeah. Oh, thanks. So I'm like, I like this level a lot. Uh, it's very uh, unique, I guess you could say. So, okay, as you see, there's these rocks falling. Now, here's the source of it. I like to use missiles on this guy for the first part of it, and then uh, switch to my buster or tornado or something. But you got this green guy with red nipples. Don't know why I said that. He's also got a hook for hands, and he'll try to grab your ass. Literally grab your butt. If you're not careful. This is why I like to use missiles, because his weak spots are his head and legs. And you can actually hit him from behind if uh, he's facing you, or away from you, when he, because uh, he can also use his hook shots, hands, to grab the wall and pull himself close to you. Or grab you with that, just like he did there. But for some reason, he's not often doing it. Normally, he doesn't. He normally goes for the wall when he's close enough, but he's not. Uh, he's not actually close enough to it. And you know when he's close to being dead is when he starts smoking. I mean, kind of real life logic there. He he, he dies because he smokes. I guess I really gotta stop smoking. Though. See, he's smoking. And he wasn't even close to the wall there. Nope, not even close to the wall. See, I hit him from, uh, when he jumped. I hit him in the legs. Damn it. I meant to shoot him in the legs. Oh, I guess my missile up the butt didn't work. Oh, what was that? I totally jumped over him, but I, I had frame rate loss, and it caused my jump to be to, to fuck up. That was way over him. Okay, yeah, tornado is definitely not doing it. There's also flame. What did I used to use on this guy? I guess your best bet is the buster, to be honest, it's faster. Dang it. It's also stronger and more powerful because you got charge up shots, but. Dang it. And you can easily hit him when he jumps. Ah! <laughs> Misjumped it. Mistimed it. Oh, come on, dude. Ow. I'm taking damage for no reason whatsoever. Because I mistimed it. Jump. I didn't expect him to jump there. <laughs> Alright. X, you're a pansy. We know you need an armor upgrade to increase to decrease the damage you take. Get inside this capsule and I'll give you some badass looking shoulders. Yes, sir, right away. I want them shoulders. Oh, and them stylish and shoulder pads. Look at my white thong. <laughs> Alright. So now we have every piece of the armor. And down here, we're beating Launch Octopus stage. This part of the stage is flooded. 
This part is kind of annoying. I might not be able to do this first try. Especially with a controller. Okay. Okay, I, I was wrong. Heart peace. I second guessed myself and made it, so. Now, that guy's dead, so there's no more rocks aside from these assholes. But they can just be run past. Fuck you. Yeah, I thought I could run under. That was wrong. Ugh. Those. Hey, I was right about to say that. Those woodpeckers spit out freaking caterpillar and things. Hey, buddy. I'm a cat. Right armor! This is basically the home stretch. Just punch it in sight and go ham. There's a, also a few spots for health pellets. And no, sadly, unlike Magma Dragoon, you cannot take this thing into the last frame. That'd be cool, though. Hey. Hey. Mm. Don't you feel like a badass? It's the same exact thing. File wrote it. Now you're ready to take out the boss. Bring out Boomerang Kwanger's weapon, and you will pwn steam from your hips. Why do you have to hit me once, I swear to God? Oh, you hit me twice, because I did not expect the spike falls to be that far. Oh. Ow. Okay. All because I got nervous and cocky. Stop. Word. Up, 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 we have Mark of the Beast. Finally, found Sigma's fortress. Let's go and put an end to this. Or end to his war against the humans. Peace, X. Now we have Sigma stage. One last thing before I end this episode, I'm going to go get me the Hadouken. Riding on a vehicle, riding on a vehicle. Ow. Bad. Fucking arse creatures. Get out of this game and go back to X2. It's overdrive ostrich. Oh yes, that guy will actually kill you if you land on his spiky hands. Come on, ah. I can actually never make that when they're all there. When they're all there. Yeah, 
I see I'm good with this game when I want to be. <laughs> when I want to be, and I say that, and I get hit by a bat, and like somehow I can't even hit. Oh, come on. Hey, quit juking me out, dude. Fucker. Oh, wait. Ah, oh, never mind. I was gonna get down there and do that, but I didn't. I, uh, I underestimated its range. Or overestimated its range, rather. Ah, there's the jump. See? I completely forgot about the jump. I was just gonna ride it out, and uh, I flew backwards. Which looked like lag for some reason. Oh, I expected to die there. Don't know why. I can really feel the weight of this controller just sucking ass. Now, I don't know if your stuff has to be filled up or if you need full health for this, but you need to die a few times. Which is really you also gotta make it here. It's one. Geronimo! I want, I've, as a kid, I've always was curious about the background. I've always wanted to go, like, have a level in that background. It does look familiar to the X4 layout, the forest area, but not quite. Also, as a kid, I always wondered when I played X4 for the first time, I was like, oh, maybe that was that jungle area. No, it's not. That'd be cool, though. Now, I'm not the best at pulling off the Hadouken, it just never seems to work for me at boss fights, so I'm probably never going to be able to use it. Hey, that's the one I'm Hey, I did not mean to do that. That's twice. But, just to let you know, the Hadouken is a one-hit KO. Kale? Kill and KO. Kill. It is a one-hit kill, just like the Shoryuken. The Shoryuken, in my opinion, is better, as long as you're able to time it right, because it's an uppercut, and it's really good against Agile's second form and stuff like that, and bosses who are, like, on the wall or in the air. And the Hadouken is really good for ground enemies, because you can't do it with any... You can't do it again in the air or anything like that. But it also has its range. Sure, you can punch us at an angle versus like just a straight up punch, which is fine. It's just it's not the easiest five condition at a time. Once more should be should be it. And I want to get this out of the way before anything else. I don't think I need everything to be full, I just think I need everything. Which I believe I have everything. Normally I do a couple backtracks, but I already did the backtracks before uh, uh, actually completing all the eight bosses. Normally I would do all the backtracks at the Nope! Alright, here we go! I give you a special present. Now enter the capsule, please! My name is Ryu. Don't know why I made it sound all racist. Now I gotta figure out how to use it. <laughs> Aww. Okay. It's more of like a diagonal. You gotta go like I the way I do it is I hit I hit down diagonal left or down diagonal right.
Alright guys. It's gonna end this episode. Password, remember it. Hope you enjoyed this episode, and for anyone who's played Mega Man and never knew about the secret Hadouken, and I will continue on to Mega Man X2, and I'll show off the Shoryuken, which was hard to get, by the way. You're, you're welcome. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, comment, subscribe if I helped you out. And uh, have a good day, have a good night. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.